This is the capability we have is automated SSL renewal. And in this picture I show on the left-hand side is public and private CAs. We have our certificate manager again. And on the right-hand side of the enterprise, I have a web server or low belt that needs a certificate, SSL certificate. And so what we did was we um, added the capability to what's called ACME, uh, Automated Certificate Management Environment. And it's an RFC standard. Um, it allows the web server to pull a certificate down to it. Um, it's the way of the future. Um, some web servers do have clients to provide the ACME capability. Um, but in the future, you'll start seeing that the web servers themselves have ACME embedded into the web server. So Apache would be a good example of that. Where it's built right on the web server, there's no need for any client to be co-located with the web server. And this approach is superior to, let's say, other proprietary approaches where the um, there's an agent you install at your enterprise, the agent kind of mimics the administrator, the agent would log into the web server, so now it has to have the username and password of the administrator, it logs in, mimics the, um, the uh, administrator, puts the certificate in, creates the key pairs and such. In those situations, though, you have to get those agents to know all the uh, uh, passwords and usernames, it becomes cumbersome to manage. If you start changing that password, uh, and the web server needs to remember to go back and change it on the clients. It's just a very more cumbersome mechanism. We we feel this ACME approach where this web server kind of pulls the certificate down. It's much cleaner and it requires less maintenance and ongoing support. And in this picture, I've shown a, it could be public or it could also be a private web server. In a public web server case, it also does the domain control validation check. But in a private web server, there is no domain control validation step. So that part's skipped.